I'm a BB fan. What's the strangest fan encounter that you've had? <laughs> Uh, what were you talking about earlier? Okay, I, I've I, had some pretty. I've had. I'll say one, but you go ahead. Okay, I've had a few somebody? interesting emails. I've had. I've been asked where I'm ticklish at. Um, <laughs> very, I went to. Uh, I was at a drive-through the other night, and I was getting my um, food, and the lady almost dropped the bag. She's like, "Are you?" I'm just like, "Yes, it's okay." You know. I said, oh, but other than the ticklish question, it's been pretty normal. <laughs> I had a one real long one from a girl that wanted me to throw. You know, her friend lived in L.A. She was like struggling and wanted me to throw a huge party for her at one of the nightclubs. It was like a benefit or something. That I no, just a party for her and like a huge. Did yeah, you yeah. do it? <laughs> <laughs> Look, all right. The, <laughs> I, you know, I'm all about throwing people parties, but let's, let's, you know, in Hollywood, it's not a cheap thing. So, you know. We did have a renegade home. party at S Bar. It was yeah, awesome. It was amazing. S B E. S B E. Yeah, y'all really rolled out the red carpet. I think some of the pictures came out for that. Yeah. So. One of my friends uh, got a new phone, and it was pretty funny, and he sent me a text message the other day, and he was like, because I didn't get his new phone number yet, Matt. And he was, yeah, Matt, and he was Matt. Good guy. So he sends me a text, and it says something like, I'm your biggest fan, I want to wear your skin. <laughs> <laughs> Some creepy, creepy, creepy Weird. thing. And I didn't have his number, I didn't even know he had a new Weird. number, and I'm like, uh... uh <laughs> we didn't we uh, really need to go there. I need, I'm trying to keep this at least PG-13. Right. <laughs> not Silence of the Lambsy. <laughs> Damn, stop screaming. <laughs> um, let's see. From KMMR928, what was the worst and what was the best competition? Ooh. I'll go uh, best. I think the onion one was, you didn't play in the onion one. No. Well, mine is the one that I won the car. Um, best competition? I think, uh, good question. Um, what about the one on the house? Hanging on the rail. Uh, oh, that was we didn't like that. I'd say that's yeah. the worst. That was one of the worst ones. I mean, that's the, painful. The earthquake one when you're on the wall, I didn't like that one. I thought the wing walker was cool just yeah. the way it was set up. Um, what else is cool? The vine one was a lot of fun. How about one that... The vine was fun, like, for t t t an hour and a half. The one, you, the one you won was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> the one you won, the puzzle one, was so much fun. Going yeah, the that puzzle one line. was cool. I thought the Vine one was really fun. Like, first hour, like, we were cracking up and having a good time. I was like, this is cool. You know, it's after that that it got painful. Worst <laughs> one. There was one that was really bad. I just can't remember. The honey. Sorry, honey. Michael. The honey was horrible. Yeah. The honey was horrible. Notice I didn't it play any of these terrible it? ones. Cold. No, it was horrible. You couldn't move. You couldn't see. I mean, you couldn't. The feathers. Every, I mean, it was bad. I mean, it was just like. The shout out to Mike O to the heck of a Mike crowd. O, yeah. Okay, here's another one from Dirk Diggler. Dirk. Yeah. <laughs> not, not, not as polite as the last no. one. Oh, good. <laughs> Did anybody, male or female, get busted masturbating in the house? Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'll take this one. It's cool. <laughs> you can't do it either. I'll take that one. I don't know anybody that got a busted. Not that I heard. Um, you know, there's cameras everywhere. you got to watch what you're doing. Um, it's just one of those nice things. So. Okay. It's um, PG-13. Come on, Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> we know you're named after... You were watching more than I was. I didn't get to see everybody. So, Dirk, if you didn't see a buddy, it didn't happen. <laughs> Memphis, were you scared of the sumo wrestler? <laughs> yes, he was scared of the sumo wrestler. He was more scared than Keisha. He was hiding behind Keisha. I was not scared. Yes, of the you were. I'm calling okay, you out on this. Okay. Okay. Look, you're very scared. I'll tell you that you thing. like big naked men, and you're getting close. Oh, here like. we go. The interesting thing. I don't know if anyone on the live feed saw this, but when we got the. Uh, the clay or the play-doh i actually made a sumo wrestler like two days before we had a sumo wrestler in the house talk i mean yeah, very it ironic weird, yeah. it was very strange but <laughs> but he, he was didn't, scared he didn't take he, you he was scared well look he didn't take you to japan so yeah i know okay. we wanted to go to japan so bad <laughs> had there been a trip to japan i would have taken memphis well, well here's one okay so Liar. are, are you <laughs> planning on going to japan since you seem so excited about the idea for the luxury challenge oh it was awesome you know uh the yeah, chance to go, go to japan, japan would be awesome but yeah. it's so expensive are you gonna, are you gonna front you the gonna, bill on it? Are you gonna <laughs> front the bill on it? <laughs> <laughs> no, we'd love to go. Uh, if uh, yeah, we can make an appearance cool. in Japan, hey, yeah. we'll be in there in a second. Maybe this, uh, no, sumo wrestler. Yeah. From yeah. a Zenpunk 30, do you guys still shout, been there at random moments outside <laughs> the house? Tell them about the airport, tell them about the airport. <laughs>
the airport. Yeah, Memphis was hiding out, or I was. <laughs> Memphis was waiting for me. I come, turn around the corner, and just yell, "Ben, there!" Uh, and we both start cracking up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny, man. We, uh, we haven't seen. I haven't seen that anywhere though. If, if it's on YouTube, I mean. Yeah, if somebody can yeah. find that clip because that's hilarious. I don't know if people saw it or, or like. <laughs> Tell Keisha, the story real quick. All right, so we're sitting out on the back porch, and Keisha was talking about. We were talking Alcatraz. about Alcatraz yeah. in San Francisco. And literally, this was like early in the morning. So everybody was like, you know, we don't talk that much. So we're just having a decent conversation. Jerry's sitting there, and Keisha's like, yeah, I always wanted to go to Alcatraz. And literally, two seconds after, been there! <laughs> Jerry, like as loud as possible. And I, I don't even know what to say at this point. I'm just like, oh, all right, Jerry. And everybody just kind of got silent. It was like real awkward. Everybody's like, cool, I guess. What do we do after that? You know, thank you for letting us know. <laughs> Uh, from Trixie Cook, Dan, you said when you were in the house in the pool that you would not let any girls be a renegade. So why should us oh, girls buy renegade wear if we're not good enough to be a renegade? Oh, I never said that. I said <laughs> <laughs> on the spot. Oh, good, way to call me out. But hey, I'll, I'll clarify that um, erroneous statement. I said in the renegades, you can only have two renegades. That was one of the, that was the first renegade rule. Yeah. You know, and, and Memphis and I were the two renegades to start. However, you know, now that the game's over. Anyone can be a renegade if they want to. They just have to go to let's do this like Judas dot com. Yeah. Uh, but no, you know, it's just a lifestyle. It's just yeah. kind of the way you look at things. You know, just do what you want. Definitely. I want Memphis to pick up a, a replacement renegade and you know maybe someone like Keisha or someone from a past season you know so the renegades do not discriminate so Trixie I hope uh, we clear that up for you <laughs> it's just you can only have two yeah that's two it. that's it 